welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai education department i am mrs akshata kale and today we will learn evs come on students let us begin our lesson let us learn environmental studies part 1 of standard 4th and name of the lesson is 24th are we endangering our environment Dear children, this is part two. We have already completed part one. In that, we studied about the progress made by the human beings in the field of transportation, in the field of communication, and also in the field of housing, isn't it? And in part one, we studied about the similarities that found in city life. and in village life like that only we learnt about the differences that we found in the city life village life and in the forest isn't it yes let us move to today's portion dear children these are the basic needs of human beings they are water food air and the shelter and to fulfill these requirements man is making progress he wants to lead a more comfortable life isn't it so he is he is making progress in each field isn't it the progress made by human beings see here man is more intelligent than all other animals he makes use of his intelligence to make his life more comfortable all living things make use of what they find in their environment but only man can carefully study the things in the environment he produces new things from materials in the environment right if the environment is harmed it has harmful effects on all living things and man is no exception this we know isn't it about this we have studied in the part 1 of this lesson right now dear children this is growth of population now let us study about this growth of population here see this last 60 years the population of our country has tripled means three times more okay it is still growing so the demand for all those things that we need to take from the environment has increased many times over right now we will go through the graph and we will try to study the population explosion okay see this is a bar graph these you can see here bars so it is called as bar graph okay this is x axis and this is y axis on the x axis we can see the years that is 1911 to 2011 dear children these bars show the census of population got this now on the y axis you can see the counting that is population in millions c okay mn means here millions for example i will tell you here 1911 the population of india was approximately 250 million got this here see this 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs remember this 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs and dear children you know that 1 lakh has 
five zeros in front of one. Right? Ten lakh means six zeros in front of one. Got this? Now we will go through one or two readings from this bar graph. Okay? See, dear children, census means counting the people. This census occurs after every ten years. Okay, see here, nine, nineteen eleven, then nineteen twenty one, nineteen thirty one means there is a gap of ten years, isn't it? Now see this: a census was done in nineteen fifty one. Okay, this bar graph shows that this bar shows that the nineteen fifty one census account. Okay, what was the population of our country then? Come on, see this. You know that one million is equal to ten lakhs, and here it, the reading shows that it is nearly about three hundred fifty millions. Now see here. Three hundred fifty millions. That is equal to ten lakhs multiplied by three fifty, isn't it? So that is three thousand five hundred lakhs. When it was at nineteen fifty one census. Now here one more question. We will go through. See this arrow mark. A census was done in two thousand eleven, right? What was the population of our country then? Here the bar shows that it is equal to one thousand two hundred million, right? One thousand two hundred millions is equal to how much? Ten lakhs multiplied by one thousand two hundred. That is equal to twelve thousand lakhs. Twelve thousand, and after that, five zeros we have to give. See the population of our India. Means when we compare the population of India of nineteen fifty one to two thousand eleven, we can say that population is tripled. In sixty years, it is growing. It is growing so rapidly, isn't it? Within sixty years, it is tripled. Got this, children? Now, here you can see a village. People could not get employment in villages, isn't it? So they began to leave and to go to the cities in search of work to earn the money, right? Cities became crowded because all villages they are coming to the cities. The population in cities grew beyond limits. You can see here in the picture so many people. You can see right now. Here, this is the picture of Mumbai. Mumbai is the best example for crowded city, isn't it? We live in Mumbai, and we know how many people. They come to Mumbai in search of work. After that, they stay here only. So our population of Mumbai is rising continuously, isn't it? Because of this, cities began to experience a shortage of water. There were not enough houses for everybody. So people could not find a place to stay. There used to be open spaces and fields around the cities. There they will build a temporary houses. New colonies will build there. And to build these 
new houses and colonies the trees there had to be cut down isn't it everything depends on one another in cities one has to travel long distances to get to work right so people in cities began to buy vehicles that run on fuels in all big cities these vehicles spew smoke as they are driven around this smoke mixes with the city air as a result people began to have breathing problems instances of asthma or lung disorders began to increase that is because of air pollution isn't it you can see in this picture that is the city air is totally polluted because of these moving vehicles right now dear children can you see any green tree in this picture no right trees have been banished from cities so birds do not find places to build their nests they also find the smoke in the city air troublesome they are no longer sure of getting water when they are thirsty so there are fewer and fewer birds in cities now so many birds they are dying because of this pollution and shortage of food and water like that only the number of butterflies and other insects is also falling got this yes okay now we will move to one more problem see here because of the increasing population the drainage system in cities fails sometimes then water collapses in the midst of living areas right because of that mosquitoes grow in it you know that the dirty water is required for mosquitoes to grow correct these mosquitoes spread diseases like malaria right then one more that is dengue another one is filaria and one more disease that is very dangerous that is nothing but chikungunya for the children yes here you can see the disease people right do you see how the increase in the population spoils the life we lead in cities yes it creates so many problems we will go through some of them first one is ground water is drying up yes dear children you know that water is an important need of all living things we use water for drinking for becoming clean for cooking for washing clothes and utensils more water is needed in factories to manufacture the products yes for house cleanliness to keep our house clean we need more water right like that only the farms or the agriculture need a lot of water to grow the crops 
and the building construction it too needs a large amount of water right means water is necessary in all the fields in day to day life correct but as the rainy season ends the water in rivers decreases correct yes dear children we know that rainy season is from june to september but we receive more rainfall in only july and in august right after that what happens the water in rivers slowly decreases water in wells too recedes water in wells too recedes their water barely lasts up to the month of march the following year later in summer many villages face a serious scarcity of water means they will not get water for drinking too do you know children people settle only where water is available from one source or the other here you can see the buildings or the settlements beside the water source because water is an important need of all living things isn't it okay the population keeps growing the rainfall however remains the same so there is a shortage of water much of rain water flows away unused so what the man did so we began to build dams to store rain water and use it later some people began to use bore wells rather than draw wells and to use hand pumps to lift water then pumps that worked mechanically on diesel or electricity were invented now the use of such pumps has become widespread the population has so greatly increased that now every summer we face severe water scarcity isn't it another problem that the population growth caused was that of availability of food the food produced in the country began to fall short of the needs of the growing population because population is growing continuously so the demand for food is also increased right so our scientists developed improved methods of farming previously farmers would grow only one crop in the year now they can take two or even three crops every year as a result food production increased but so did the demand for water for agriculture you know that agriculture needs a large amount of water right so the problem of water arised we experience scarcity of water soon after the rains then from where do we get the water for the fields in summer and in the winter you know yes dear children see this rain water that has seeped into the soil can be used in this situation here in the picture you can see the rain water it is seeped here this blue colored ground water is nothing but the rain water which is seeped into the ground okay here the water found in wells and bore wells is nothing but rain water that has seeped into the ground see these are all tube wells and bore wells okay yes see these are dug well or tube well okay 
yes these bring the ground water on the land here you can see the ground water blue in color that by using the tube well or bore well we by the help of this machine we bring that up and we use for the agriculture and for the other different purposes okay here also the same thing you can see dear children let us learn about some traditional methods of drawing water from the wells okay this i hope you don't know okay because we all live in mumbai so we don't know about this see this in the konkan region there are groves of coconut betel nut and bananas okay groves means big big farms they are watered using the water wheel to lift water from the wells a horizontal beam is placed over the mouth of the well you can see here the well and the horizontal beam kept on the mouth of the well okay it supports a large wooden wheel which turns around this wheel is called rahat okay and several pots see here several pots okay right so many pots are fixed on the wheel right when the wheel turns the chain of pots turns with it see here okay that is called rahat gadge for this here one by one they dip into the water in the well and get filled as they come up you can see here in the picture this water is pouring here correct because they are these pots they are coming up and when they take the round they spill the water right as the wheel turns each pot turns over and water gets poured into the channel from there it is taken to the grooves or to the fields the water wheel is turned with the help of the buller or a male buffalo you can see here in the picture right such water wheels or rahat gadge are still in use in some places in the konkan region for the children if you want to watch a video on this you can go for the youtube and enter rahat gadge okay see here one more type in other parts of maharashtra a mot m o t mot okay was in use for lifting well water a mot is a large leather bag it is lowered into the water at the end of a rope when it is full it is lifted out of the well the water is used for the fields can be taken from this move to and fro on a ramp to help lower the bag and lift it here you can see a buffalo right they use bullock or buffalo the mot is used in very few places now got this children nowadays fields are watered using diesel or electric pumps you can see in this picture this is a diesel engine or diesel machine these mechanical pumps can lift many times more water than the mots ever could besides because more than one crop is taken every year the pumps are used to lift water even after the rainy season as a result the water stored underground is getting used up rapidly got this children yes this is all about this lesson
ओके ना वी विल गो थ्रू वॉट वी हेव लर्न इन दिस लेसन ओके सी दिस as the population keeps growing the demand for things we get from the environment also grows in leaps and bounds cities became crowded as people left their villages in search for work trees were cut down to build new houses the number of vehicles increased their smoke began to cause breathing disorders as trees are felled means cut birds do not find nesting places right there is smoke too as a result the numbers of birds butterflies and other insects in cities are falling the greater the population the greater is the demand for food grain farmers now take multiple crops the demand for water too increases previously in konkan the water wheel was used to draw well water while the moat was used elsewhere in maharashtra now pumps are used for the purpose in most places so ground water gets used up rapidly right each thing each thing is interdependent correct as the population is growing the demand for food is growing so the demand for water is also growing right now dear children we will move to the exercise part of this lesson fill in the blanks here we can see five fill in the blanks right okay we will go through one by one first one in summer there is a dash of water in many villages and cities yes in summer there is a yes what scarcity scarcity of water in many villages and cities okay second one a bullock or a male buffalo is used to turn the dash come on tell me a bullock or a male buffalo is used to turn the water wheel correct that is used for rahat gadge right next third one dash is more intelligent than all other animals yes we know that man correct fourth a mot is a large leather dash what is that large leather bag isn't it okay last one people leave their villages for the cities in search of what in search of work right okay thank you dear children yes please read the lesson one or two time okay and try to understand the concept bye thank you very much for being a part of this lesson please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get new updated videos